would be Wednesday, December, or December, December 3rd, the regular class with one grumpy little tiger. As we get into our information, see, book report comes due in two weeks with the bell work for the UVA to go through and write down our opinions. My goal is for today to get an idea of where you stand on these ideas, because these are going to be the important ones that are going to pop up throughout the story. So I'm going to give you guys a chance to express your thoughts here in just a moment. For each one, I'm going to have you raise your hand and tell me if you agree or disagree with each one. One says, friends are always more important than family. If you agree, raise your hand. If you disagree, raise your hand. Two, any kid that gets a detention, basically in school reassignment, the big ones, with Mr. Butts is a bad kid. Agree? Disagree. Three. I would not intervene if I saw a bully getting stomped. Agree? Disagree. <laughs> All right. Four. Loudly announcing that someone has bad breath or they have ugly clothes is an example of bullying. Agree? Disagree. Oh, yes. And five. I would not report my BFF for doing something bad. Like having drugs or a knife at school and my BFF, I mean that absolute best friend, no matter what it might be. Agree? And disagree. I somebody else to tell I know. I'm both. I'm both. As we go through, realize it is easy to lose points. Because as you get more time, and I talk quieter, and then just charge points. So as we go through, I'll do my best to spread around the calling of you. But if you just get to the point where you just start yelling out at people, that's not how I feel, then I am going to charge you points. Regardless of how strongly you feel or point fingers at people, it'll still come back to haunt you. Uh, my goal is, if you raise your hand a lot, then you're not going to get called on as much, as opposed to like that one kid that never raises their hand, that one time they do, I'll try to jump to them. My goal is to try and spread it around as much as possible. So keep that in mind. I'm not trying to meet, I'm trying to be as fair as I can. The first one, the friends are always more important than family. A big theme that will go throughout this book is the idea of hanging out with a certain, they don't quite call it, they kind of call it a gang, but it's not like the gang where you go around and like have to cap people and do drive-bys. It's more like a clique or just that group of friends that hang out. People cap is the slang thing. Did you say click? Click, C-L-I, Q-U-E, click. And so that's more what they're talking about here. But they are very connected to their friends. So my question is, thoughts on that one? Are friends more important than family or not? Cindy? Um, family is more important because um, family, your mother birthed you. <laughs> <laughs> but aren't friends the family you choose? Yeah, yes. well, I mean, oh, your family is the family you are born with and you love them. What if we just yell out loud and lose points like Ms. Rovac talked about? These were all wonderful things to bring up. Ball! Um, I agree and disagree. Okay. Because I agree because, I mean, if you're in a moment when, you know, like let's say if you lost most of your family that are close to you, then your friends would be the ones that are close like your family. Okay. But if... I mean, if you kind of are in a situation when you're kind of in a fight with your friends, I go to my family because your family support you, and they cuddle up with you and go, oh, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they make you feel better. Really. I've, I've heard they can do that. Not mine, but other families. Becker. What? Okay. Um, I said friends are more important. Okay. Like, what, I don't get along with my mom that well, and I do not want to see her most of the time. I've heard that happens with teenagers. Yeah. Okay. So it's only going to get worse. Yeah. So it's going to go downhill. So I put friends will always be there for you because I have this like one friend that's always there for me and she knows where I'm going through and stuff. But like it's a certain type of friends that will always be there for you. Alright. Deja. I disagree because friends, some friends aren't always going to be there for you, but your family is blessed so they'll always be there for you. Right. That is true, although I think part of it might come from how good of a family you guys come from, too. I mean, so if you come from a family where you're like, have alcoholic parents or something like that, you might be like, oh, I'm not 
not so fond of those people. But as long as you come from a family where that's not the issue and you actually love those people, then hopefully that should be a good thing. And then Miko will move you over a little bit so the third one can see. Thanks, Miko. Two, any kid that gets an attention from Mr. Butts is a bad kid. This will also play a big role in the story, the idea of what qualifies someone as a bad person. Because it seems that the people who get sent down are like, I'm not a bad person, I made bad choices. No one declares themselves a bad kid. No one goes around like, I'm just bad. They're just like, everyone's like, I'm a good person, I don't know, I'm innocent. But at what point do you become that bad person? That becomes a big part of the book, is figuring out when do you become bad. Haley J, you had your hand up a moment ago, now no. Addie? Um, I said disagree disagree because everyone makes mistakes and some people could just be having a bad day. Could be. But what I mean, so just going down there on a one day thing, what if you had like a bad week? You're still a bad person, you're okay. Bad month? It depends what you do. Okay. So where do you draw the line? Uh I think after going down once, you would know not to do the thing that you did again. So the second time would make you a bad person? Kind of. Just curious. Bumble? Um, I disagree, because what if they're in there for, like, being, like, a witness or something? No, not for that. Saying detention. Oh. You're not down there because you're a witness. Um, well, a detention. Uh, yeah, I took that argument away. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, golly! Um, because, like, people, they get, like, blamed for stuff they don't do. Uh-huh. So you're saying they're innocent? Yes. So you're saying all the people down there are innocent? No. Oh. Like, so, like, he's talking about this situation. No, I'm guessing. Like, sort of, like, someone gets, like, there was a fight. Somebody breaks it up. Uh-huh. Then gets hit in the eye, so it's like they were in the fight. Uh-huh. So they're like, get out of the office. What, what do you keep doing in your situations? You broke. It feels a connection to him. You feel strongly about it. Lucas? That's you. Oh. <laughs> I agree because you must have done something bad to go see him. So it makes you a bad person? No. Alright, that's your opinion. They can't yell. They can lose their points. Shannon? I disagree because... Um, some, like, maybe a kid walked up to them and started being really mean to them and, like, bullying them or, like, teasing them about something. And then they started getting into a fight because both kids would be called down to the, prince, like, the principal's office because they were both in the fight. So. But not just getting called down, they're getting a detention. So they're being found guilty. So, so does that make, them, that make them a bad person then? Because one trial. Of them, like, the one that started it could have lied and got the other one in trouble. Okay. Three! I would not intervene if I saw a bully getting stomped, as in your bully, the person that torments you, and you were to see them getting whooped upon, would you intervene? Zach? Um, I think I disagree because, um, because getting stomped would, if somebody helped me out, then I'd appreciate that, and if he was doing something I absolutely hate, and someone like smacked in the face, I'd still be happy to stop. So you'd still try and help them? Yeah. That's nice of you. Taylor? Number three, your bully getting beat up? No, I would just intervene. You'd sit there and watch? Well, maybe I'd be like, do you need help? <coughs> yeah, I'd be like, cool, and walk away. <laughs> so you'd just add some taunting to it? <laughs> okay. I just... I, I, I understand. Not a scary thing, so don't cross Taylor. Paul! Okay. Hi. I would help them. No, I would help them. Uh -huh. But only to watch them suffer. Because when, when, uh -huh. so when, when other people stop on them, I don't get my revenge on them. So, it means that I would want to watch them suffer instead of just watching them get stomped on. So you like, want to help them so that you can hurt them? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, oh like, not me. Like, watching them, them, like, them suffer. You are evil. Them. Oh, also, Frank, hey, that's yeah. his opinion. You're you like learning you not to cross. <laughs> Better to learn it now. <laughs> Dixon? Well, if it's your bully, don't you think that, you know, he kind of deserves it? That's the question. So you're saying you would you'd also watch get out some popcorn? I would. It's very oh honest. Oh my god. Simpson? I would help the bully because if you do, the bully might stop bullying you. So you'd hope for the best? Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Oh guess what? Ball. Um I would intervene because 
even though somebody's a bully, nobody deserves to be stomped. Even though, like, because those people could be going, the bully could be going through tough times, and then like with them being like kicked, it would probably add more to their sadness and everything. But I would like help them out, but I'll kind of just like say, okay, are you okay? You know, kind of stop everything, and then I kind of just don't just talk to them that much because it means that they're bullying me. But I mean. Gotcha. Four! Oh, I know. Horrible. Loudly announcing that someone has bad breath or they have ugly clothes is an example of bullying. Regardless if it's one time or multiple times, just the idea of would that be considered bullying? Them walking in and just being like, you wore those shoes to school? People can see? <laughs> okay. And so does that qualify as bullying or are you just giving an opinion? Um, it bum. is not bullying. Okay. If, if you did it once. Well, if you did it multiple times. Then it is bullying. Why? Because that's what we learn. If you <laughs> what, if I, what if I say, you look nice today? And tomorrow I say, you look nice today. No, and then no, on it's Monday, mean stuff that so you do the, multiple times. So you're saying that's mean? Yes. That's, so the idea of them doing it. So that's why I said, regardless of it being once or multiple times, do you consider that to be bullying or not? <laughs> Sydney. Okay, so it depends. Like, if they said they had bad breath uh -huh. one day. Uh huh. Not one day, multiple times. Multiple times. Yeah. Then that would be. Um, okay, I think because, like, that would be telling the person to take a mint. So that's you want to embarrass yourself. Couldn't you just quietly offer them a mint? No, it didn't. No, As opposed to being like, dang, girl, the flowers are dying. <laughs> 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 so the outfit thing is mean, but breath is okay? Okay. Figs? Finally. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's bullying because... It, Saying things like that can make someone upset, and you can hurt their self-esteem, and it doesn't matter how many times you say it or not, it can make someone insecure and upset. Girls, too sensitive for that. You tell them, like, Monday, you tell them, you got some dusty clothes. They come back Tuesday, you're like, I'm kidding. Ugly clothes? Uh-huh. They should have learned their lesson not to bring up. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> and same thing with brushing your teeth. You like can't talk. You, you can't talk at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Becker? Okay. So, I say it kind of depends. Because, like, it depends if you have either, like, a mean tone or, like, if you're going to help somebody. Interesting. I like the idea of tone to it. If you, do, if you do it repeatedly and you have, like, a, a mean tone. And just trying to let them know about the stinky breath thing. Tomorrow, make sure you bring the book back. Those of you who were in the hallway, make sure that you do the bell work. It is on, on my website. You can find it that way. If you don't bring the book tomorrow, then it's going to cost you points each day. You do not have to read his homework yet, because we're going to start reading it together tomorrow. So if you want to read it, you can, but we're going to end up reading it together too.